Let's get up close today with an American classic. This is a 2005 Ford Mustang GT. Under the hood of the Mustang GT, you're gonna find Ford's familiar 4.6 liter V8 engine. Now it's a single overhead cam engine, it does produce 300 horsepower. It's routed to a five-speed automatic, which is in turn routed to the rear wheels. You know, there really is something to be said about this car. It does compare favorably to the, even the new Challenger and uh, the Camaro of old, but the Mustangs have always sold really well. Uh, they can be used day to day, but they still feel every bit of a muscle car, uh, like an American muscle car should. Let's take a walk around and show you how nice this one really is. Let's take a look at the condition overall. Just walking around the front end is really spectacular. Whoever uh, had this took really great care of it, but uh, there's a minor, minor little stone chip uh, in these uh, added on uh, black racing stripes. They add a really cool element of flair to the car. Uh, but just a little stone chip here, there's a little one here. Uh, nothing really else to note on the front end, but uh, if you look across the hood, it's in great condition. Got a really minor stone chip right up here on the driver's fender. See the proper GT badging, but uh, looking down at the wheels and tires here, you got a 17 inch alloy wheel from Ford here. Uh, it is a Pirelli P0 Nero tire, 23555 uh, ZR17, mud and snow rated. That's important if you live in a uh, you know four season climate. But these tires are very, very fresh. I would guesstimate 80 to 90% of the tread left, and I know they're, they're absolutely quiet. But uh, you can take a look at the reflection in the paint, but all the way down the driver's side is in gorgeous condition. Take a look inside the trunk here. She's the keyless remote. Pop the back end here. They've got an ample trunk. I mean, for a two-door sports coupe, it's really, really a big one. This GT is outfitted with the optional red leather interior. You can see side airbags. Got a power seat on this side. But uh, the step-in height, I mean, the car's actually pretty tall. I'm six feet and just drop right in. Uh, it's not a very uncomfortable car just to spend some time in. Uh, but a great layout. Nice, big, thick diameter, or large diameter, thick steering wheel. Uh, leather wrapped as well, but you can also see the red insert on the door uh, adds to the colorful accent as well. Oh, I can hear that V8 growl. I mean, that's what a Mustang GT is all about is that V8 engine. It sounds so good. And the car really does drive very, very well. This is a platform that Ford uh, created in this decade and is known to be one of their most solid platforms. And this car, you know, they make a 500 plus horsepower version of this car. So it's obviously gotta be riding on a pretty solid foundation. But nice layout, the visibility is really good. You can see the, the hood rises uh, just a little bit above where the base of the windshield is. Uh, just to give you the essence of the old cowl induction hood that you saw in the 60s. That, you know, if you had a Mustang back then or still even to this day have something uh, semi-nostalgic. But uh, really cool gauge cluster here. If you go on the setup here, this car has the uh, premium package, which gives you a... Actually, let me go with this. We can go through all the trip computer functions. And uh, if you go to the My Color here, it says Hold Reset to Adjust My Color. You can change the color of the gauges to whatever you choose. Uh, and apparently there's a whole way to customize them. I don't know how to do it, but you can apparently come up with your own color that, uh, scheme that you want. It's a pretty neat feature. Uh, cruise control on the on the uh, steering wheel here. You'll see these buttons here. These control the trip display or the multi-function computer in the uh, gauge cluster. Over here, traction control, which is great for a rear drive car. And here you're going to find a six disc in-dash CD changer. It's the Shaker 500 stereo. You can mount all six right in there. Uh, it's a great stereo actually. Really pairs the uh, macho level of what you'd expect of a car like this. Air conditioning and a nice short kind of nostalgic shifter for the 5-speed auto. Just drop it and drive and you can rock right out. Mustang's all warmed up so we're about to take it for a ride but I just wanted to give you an indication of the, the sound you'll hear in this car. It's remarkable.
in the Mustang. The layout's simple, easy to use. Big diameter steering wheel. It really does remind you of driving an older muscle car. And it's kind of got a similar design to what you would expect, expect of a uh, proper late 60s muscle car. But I really like trim in here. You got the aluminum dashboard. Uh, it's a really simple layout. Obviously, all your control functions are here. Uh, the Shaker 500 is a great stereo. Air conditioning. You really got everything you can need in a car, but we're on a pretty bumpy road here. And I think one of the things that shocks me the most about this Mustang is how well put together it is. It really, really is a very solid vehicle. And because of its solidity, it gives you the feeling that you're driving something that's truly a well-built car. Look how fast it shifts. I wasn't expecting that. That busted off some really fast shifts. The pull is great in this car in the mid-range. Oh, and the BDC, the downshift is great, but it's that V8 American torque that just puts you right back in your seat. But uh, just driving it, you know, the alignment's dead straight. I'll hit the brakes, comes down perfectly straight, and it's right back up. Incredible. A great friend of mine's family owns a handful of Ford dealers, and uh, I remember in 05 when this car first came out, actually the summer of 04 when it came out, uh, I think every one of their family members that was into sports cars had an order on one and got one. Uh, they have a huge family. I remember the fanfare, everything about the car. I mean, it was really a phenomenon. Uh, the car today still looks very much the same. It's a hell of a driver. They're very solid. They're comfortable. And a lot of people always think, like, oh, a Mustang. It's a kid's drag racer car. These cars are as comfortable to use in everyday life as, as virtually any car on the road today. With traction control and the right tires, the rear drive is nothing to be concerned about. It's really a great, great, well-built, well-cared-for car. Got a copy of the uh, auto check vehicle history report here. Uh, it's squeaky clean. It's a previous one owner local car. That was registered here in Chicago. Obviously a very low mile car at that, but uh, no issues, no title issues, odometer, structural, previous accident history, nothing like that on there. Uh, it shows one mileage event when they bought the car new, which was, uh, looks like 1018 of 05, so it's a late model 05. These really are nice cars. Visit our website at chicagocarsdirect.com where you'll see 60 pictures of this Mustang as well as the rest of our inventory. To see all of our previous footage, you can see us on YouTube. It's youtube.com slash Chicago Cars Direct. Thanks for spending some time with us, and we'll see you again soon.